Hey guys. Hi. Excuse me. Sorry. I have been feeling groggy all day. And part of that's because I'm working different shifts now where I'm getting off at like 8 o'clock, 8.30. And part of that's because last night I got off at 8 o'clock, 8.30, came home, took a nighttime cold pill because I was all sniffly and forgot that I had to get up for my 6.15 shift start this morning. So I definitely joined the land of the semi-conscious after my alarm had got off a few times, and I realized that me hitting snooze on my alarm wasn't a dream. I did make it to work on time, but it was a close thing. I hope you guys are doing okay. Doing pretty good. I've been busy with a lot of work stuff and with a lot of family stuff. So yeah, I had like the whole bush on thing happen. So now that family is no longer visiting, I've been kind of getting back in the swing of things. Just doing more stuff for work, trying to finagle. But then Janissa, who is a coworker of mine, have started doing just some stuff outside of work, which is great. Last week, Wednesday, we went to a trivia night. Didn't do too shabby, just the two of us, if I can say so myself. We each won like a little mini question and won a free drink, which was great. And then we didn't place last, but we didn't, I mean, we didn't get first, but we didn't place last. I think we were like eighth place out of 14, and it was just the two of us, and some other teams had like six people. So it was solid. Since she moved here in December-ish, she and I have been kind of like, well, let's explore the city together. And I've been trying new things together, which has been fun. But I've kind of started to notice that like everywhere in Nashville, like I, I would hate to be a graphic designer just because everything here is so professionally done and looks amazing. This old print shop quality kind of stuff. It's really cool. And it's like this really neat aesthetic, but it would just suck to try to come up with something to be creative and outside the box because everything here is so so unique looking and it's hard to be really unique when everything is so i realized i forgot to tell you guys i finally got my new phone case in just a little bit too late so it got i dropped it and it got cracked right down here so you can kind of see it there so like right there it's a crack you can kind of see it go and then there is a divot right there in the case. Oh, it makes me sick. My fingers catch it. I do have this other tempered glass thing over that. There's definitely a crack right there. Let me see if this side could show up better. You can kind of see it there. There's a few more of them that go down here. Oh, the phone there. It fell out of my pocket before the case got here, which sucks. But, I mean, I could always just get the screen placed. But, good news is, you can't even see it once in the case. So it's like, it's like it never happened. Just ignore it. This is a new case. It's an otter case, which is great, because they're like Larissa proof. So phone does have a new case. So something that mom kind of kick-started when she was down here, because she's a, she's a fixer, which is great. I love her. I've definitely picked up that from her. I found out the week I moved in that I only had an eight month lease which means I need to find a new place to live by August. I think that's what that means. I've never really had a lease before. So this is all incredibly terrifying and incredibly new. So let me, let me, let me try to translate this into Larissa E's for you. A lease is something you sign when you will be using something a lot for a part of time when it's not yours. And the lease I signed was an eight month lease stating that for eight months, I will live in this bedroom and it will cost this much a month and I need to get this much money to my landlord by this date in order to keep living here. And if I break the lease or do anything against the lease that had all these agreements and stuff, then he can be like, you know what, lease is revoked. And part of the lease was that I had to pay him a deposit. And then when I move out, if I want my deposit back, I have to adhere to all the things on the lease. Okay, follow me so far? Good. I didn't even meet my landlord, nor did I agree to a lease at all, and was told by roommates that they had never signed a lease. So I just kind of moved in, being told I would pay this much a month. And then a week went by, and he's like, hey, I'm coming back with the lease, I'm gonna have you guys sign it. So then all three of us signed it at the same time. And I had just gotten all my stuff unpacked and started my new job. And then he goes, oh, by the way, the lease is only eight months and I need you out of here by August because I'm gonna tear down the house. As someone who's really never moved all my belongings and had just unpacked all of them, because moving is overwhelming, in case you've never had the experience. It's overwhelming putting your life into boxes. This is everything you amount to in a box. So the knowledge that I would need to do it in eight months made me really tired. And so like anybody who's an adult just starting out on their own, freaking out, I called my mom. 
And so when she and dad were down here, she was asking me, well, have you looked into a new place to live? And I'm like, it's April. No, no, I have not. I, Cause it's April. I still have, I still, I mean, I still have three months figured out. No worries. There's other stuff I need to worry about that happens before that. And she's like, no, you should be putting out feelers now. And then I'm like, well, no, I'll be fine. And mom being mom was like, here's a bedroom in East Nashville for rent. It's only $700. Uh, I'm, I'm good has its own laundry, has hardwood floors, the room is unfurnished, you're gonna be sharing a bathroom and kitchen. Okay, that actually sounds kind of nice. Let me see. So then she would like show it to me and we'd be looking over stuff and like scrolling through. That's uh, that's when dad was taking his nap, by the way. So she and I were perusing some things and some of them seemed like, you know, a decent deal. And I've kind of reached out to some people and been like, hey, you know, this is me. Do you want to meet and see if we mesh? Like I'm looking for a room. I need to be out of this place by August. And they're like, oh, well, we need someone now. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know. But then other people you see on Craigslist and you're like, that's... That's a really bad idea. Let's uh, eh -eh, not not investigate this one anymore. So I thought I would share those with you. Here are the winners of the Craigslist Rooms for Rent page. Fresh start for female here. Free room, a hundred dollar a week allowance. Do you need a fresh start? Help getting back on your feet? If you're, spelled incorrectly, if you're willing to help with light cooking, cleaning, errands, etc., I am offering you a place to crash and save money. This is a great opportunity for someone to get back on their feet. This is a quiet area within walking distance of everything. Walmart, fast food, stores, etc. I will help get you a car slash job and save some money. Cash allowance of $100 is available. Female only. Under 18 need not apply. Apartment, no private bathroom. Room, not private. Thank, but no thank. Here's another one. May have free rent for a right lady. Yes, that's right. Free rent for the right lady. This is a room share or maybe your own room. Looking for a nice pretty lady to move in and help take care of the house and each other, please. Be between 36 to 50, skinny to just a little curvy. Tell me about you and pics, please. Would like one of your face and one of your body clothed. Tell me why you would be best for this. Do. And as bad as those ones sound, they're not as bad as the female slash girlfriend roommate that people post on the room share for Craigslist. So, I mean, at least looking for a new place to live has been entertaining. So like at least now I have a general idea of what the area is like around town and where I want to live sort of a deal. Although I don't even know why I'm really bothered because I'm not here that often. I'm normally at work or out doing something because I just need a place to leave my bed and all my crap. I was really hoping it would be easier to find an apartment just because I have so many apartment buildings that are being built, like they're all in the process of construction around my house that I live now. But like one of them is economy only housing or something, like special economy housing. And I don't, I don't know, I guess it's just not really oversaturating the market like I hoped it would. It's all I can really get my brain to focus on for today and I know I normally thank you guys for listening but I want to make a special thank you to you guys since I took time to write some letters just kind of do a little blurb about my life and talking is a lot easier than writing everything out and it makes my hand like not hurt as much to just talk instead of like writing everything down so thank you for <laughs> listening to these and kind of being caught up on me and stuff that's going down here Shorter week this week. Probably that's because I didn't do such a good job of writing stuff down like I should have. Sorry. Have a great week and see you guys next time.